On this edition of our Appalachian Grown series, we stay right here in Harrison County to look at the history behind one of North Central West Virginia's favorite foods. Scott Sinkoff takes us to Oliverio Peppers. When it comes to peppers, the question, hot or sweet, has been one of the toughest decisions for North Central West Virginians over the past 50 years. Well, this business got started in 1972. My father started it with the help of his mother. And now, the third and fourth generations of the Oliverio family are in Clarksburg doing what the family started a half century ago in Mark Oliverio's grandmother's basement in Glen Elk. We did it in her basement from 1972 to 75. In 1975, my dad started building a larger facility over here in Clarksburg. And from there, the facility has grown from just one kind of peppers to everything we know and love today. We started out just producing my grandmother's recipe, which was our original medium hot peppers and tomato sauce. Uh, now, we've obviously grown that, so today we do it sweet, medium hot, red hot. That's in addition to the mild banana pepper rings, cauliflower, jalapenos, and pizza sauce, among other things. These products are one of the reasons why the name Oliverio's Peppers are synonymous with the area. It's pretty nice to go to a restaurant and you see your name on the menu. You know, most people around here now have grown up with it. So your average person has been there their whole life. And what's next for Oliverio's? Mark said that they manufacture different products for other companies across the country, but most importantly, will keep growing locally to bring the best food they can produce here in the wild and wonderful. They don't just ask for peppers. A lot of people ask for Oliverio peppers. Reporting in Clarksburg for 12 News, I'm Scott Sinkoff.